Hi everybody, Hi I'm there. Routine and this is Marshall. We are the Namibian Table Consultants. Today we are at the Big C Grocery Store and we will be taking you through the store and show you some products and prices and compare them to the prices back home. Yes. This store is basically like checkers and pick a pay that we have back home. Yes, yes. Big C falls in that category. Yes. Do you have something to add? Uh, yes, so uh, yeah, join us and uh, I really hope you guys will enjoy this video. Alright guys, so here we have some muffins. Um, this is actually like banana bread muffins. We really like this to enjoy it with some coffee or tea. And yeah, it actually makes us think about home, banana bread from home. Okay, over here we've got some cheese. Uh, so this big pack, value pack, it's got like 81 slices. Uh, the normal price is about 392 baht, almost 400 baht. But it's on promotion now for only 275 baht. Um, they also do they have some smaller packs, uh, 6 slices for 75 baht. Uh, but this looks like Chinese, like a Chinese brand. They also have some Italian cheese over here, um, 200 grams for 130 baht, Italian cheese. Uh, then we've got some butter over here, uh, same as back home, Flora. Um, this is a 250 gram, also on promotion right now for 60 baht. Uh, the normal price is about 85 baht for this uh, Flora butter. Then here we've got some cream cheese. Um, what's the size of this thing? Let me just see here quickly. Um, it's like 250 grams for 163 baht for cream cheese. We also have some cooking cream up there for your pasta and stuff. And yeah, some whipped cream as well. Alright guys, here we have eggs. Uh, got a small tray with 10 eggs. Uh, for about 60 baht, 54 to 60 baht. That's the price range for a tray of 10 eggs. Um, we also have the... Oops, sorry. We also have the big trays. Uh, 30 eggs for 110 baht. Okay. Then we have these ones. Yeah, these look like duck eggs or actually kill eggs. Uh, we never tried this before. Also, don't think we're going to try them. Definitely not. <laughs> and yeah, very interesting. They've got some green eggs over here and some pink eggs and some black eggs. This what actually, are they? This is actually, they say it's salted eggs, right there, you can see salted Raw eggs, salted egg. but it's black, so I don't really know how they get, okay guys, so here we got some sliced grapefruit, Rudin, we were actually talking during the week somewhere that yes. we've never seen grapefruit in Thailand before, this is really our lucky day today, yeah. Marshall, and also it's on promotion, 63 baht, it was, what's the name of it, can you they pronounce call it, it uh, Kawup Pueng Pomelo. Imagine. Yeah. We just call it grapefruit. Yeah, we just call it grapefruit. <laughs> okay. Then they got some sliced watermelon as well for 14 baht. Pretty That's good really price. Good. And here they got some sliced mango. Marshall lo loves, loves the sliced things. Yes. It's less effort. Effortless, guys. Oh, look at this, guys. This is um, guava. Uh -huh. And if you look closely, you'll see there's a packet of spice. Salty spice. Yes. So they actually mix salt and spice and they use it as a dub for the fruit. Yes. Um, Rudin likes it. I the do. The Thais love it. I don't like it that much. I prefer to eat my fruit just like that. But uh, yeah. So if you ever come to Thailand, definitely try this. You might also like it. All right, guys. Here we've got different types of honey. Uh, the smaller ones are about this is let me just see if i can find the size of this one um can't really find the size of this bottle but it seems to be about 150 baht for this one and then a bigger bottle of honey is about 220 baht and i've recently also seen a video that 
they've got the local honey farms all over Thailand. Wow. Yes. Do you and know in which areas of Thailand? All over Thailand, actually. I've heard that they've got a honey farm in Chiang Mai and also one in Krabi. Wow. And actually, the one in Krabi produces salted honey. Interesting. Okay, guys. So here we in the sauces section. Um, so interesting fact, um, they don't have Worcester sauce in Thailand. So what they, I think what they use as Worcester sauce is the soybean sauce because they put soybean sauce in everything that they cook or boil. Um, so yeah, here you've got the different brands of soybean sauce and it ranges from, the prices range from 28 baht up to 75 baht for a bottle of soybean sauce. Um, we haven't bought any soybean sauce yet because we don't really know how to use it. So, yeah. And then here they've also got some barbecue marinade. Uh, this is actually the Heinz brand. And they've got barbecue marinade for meat. Okay, guys, so here we got the different bread options. Uh, so a half a loaf of bread like 10 slices is about 23 baht and a full loaf is about 42 baht uh, 42 baht is about give or take 20 in a million dollars uh, i guess that's more or less the same price as my home uh, we usually get the the whole wheat sliced bread we prefer the whole wheat more Okay, so right here we got some meat products. Uh, we'll start with the beef. Uh, so this is actually Thai beef, Rudin. Uh, really? Yeah, it says oh, on the pack of Thai beef. Thai finest beef. beef. Yeah, it's not imported. Okay. Usually they've got like uh, beef imported from Australia or New Zealand, like the ones we've tried. Yes. Um, but we haven't really tried the Thai beef yet. No. Maybe we should try it sometime. Yes, definitely. The Australian, the imported beef, tend to be very chewy. So that's why we tried it once and we just stopped trying it. Uh, but yeah, uh, so the beef prices range from about 115 baht per kilo going up to 170 baht per kilo. This is now the Thai beef. I know the imported beef, the prices range anything from 170 baht yeah, up it's to It's more expensive than baht. the local beef. Yeah, probably because it's imported. Sure. Uh, then okay. we got the chicken as well. Uh, some chicken feet. Yeah, there yeah, they got some chicken feet guys. If you like, if you're into eating some chicken feet. Thai finest. <laughs> yeah, so a packet uh, like this will cost you about 26 baht. That's about 13 million dollars. Uh, then you got your chicken livers. Oh, I think that's chicken livers. Chicken gizzard. No, that's not chicken livers. Then you got your chicken wings over here. 33 baht for two full wings. And then you also got some chicken strips. Uh, 42 baht for a packet. I think this looks like 100, no, 300, almost 400 gram. Of yeah, chicken that's a strips. Good price. Yeah, it's a very good price. 42 baht. That's about 20, 20 Namibian dollars yeah. for give or take 400 grams of chicken strips. Very good price. Uh, and if you move over here, you got your pork meat. Oh, guys, have you seen pork mince before? They've got pork mince in Thailand. So for about 200 grams of pork mince, uh, you pay give or take. 35 Thai baht, that's about 15 million dollars. Also, a very good price on the pork mince. And obviously, they got the uh, different pork cuts like the pork loin, pork belly, with the different prices. But generally, uh, pork ranges starts from about 20 baht per 100 gram, going up to like 100 baht for 500 gram. And seafood. And yeah, fish they, balls. Yeah, they've got some fish balls there. 40 baht for 400 grams. Also very nice price. We've actually never tasted them. Yeah. I've tried them once. Really? Uh, when? Yeah, when we when we got lunch at school one Oh day. yeah. Yeah, then I tried it. But we got think... we get free lunch from school every day. Um so Marshall tries it out now and then. Yeah. 
get more fish products. What's this? Uh, let's see. Dried fish. This is like fish boat on. <laughs> we had some at Nita's birthday. Yeah. I'm not really a fan of it though. Yeah, I didn't like it as well. Okay guys, here you got your processed meat section. Uh, pack like this of bologna. Um, let me just see the size. Uh, can't really see the size of this packet now. But I think this is like almost uh, 400 gram as well of bologna. It's like 42 baht. Again, like 20 million dollars. Also a very, very good price for this pack of bologna. And you've got your Russians and Vienna's, different prices. Not really Russians though. <laughs> yeah. I don't think we can call them that. But yeah. Yeah. To them it's Russians, <laughs> but to us it's not Russians. It's not. Also got some bacon over here. We've tried bacon also, pretty good. Uh, yeah, bacon prices more or less the same as the pork. But I feel bacon is more expensive in Thailand than in Namibia. What do you think? Uh... I don't really know. I haven't really because thought about it like that. Because that's 169, which is about 60-80 Namibian, Namibian dollars. And what's the size of this pack? It's yeah, a I double think, pack. Yeah, it's a double pack. Okay. So it's actually a good price. Okay. Because a double pack like this pack in Namibia, I think, will cost you about 80, 90 True. Namibian okay. dollars. So it's more or less either the same or a little bit cheaper. Okay guys, here we got some dairy products, uh, like drinking yogurt, normal yogurt, different flavors again, different brands. Look, there's someone promotion. Oh, so this looks like a new brand right here that they've got on promotion. We Did... usually take you, that brand. Yes. Marsha likes the citrus flavor. Yeah, how about you? Which flavor do you like? Strawberry think... all oh, the yeah? way. <laughs> But yeah, I so think we'll try this out yeah, today. Today we'll give this one a try. I and hope it's good. See what it tastes like. Yeah. We'll Mixed taste berries. What it tastes like. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's go on. All right, over so here you got your mobile yogurt, like you used to know. Here they also have packs of jelly, which you look at it. The Thais love, love their jelly. Yes. I love it too. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and a pack of yogurt like this. We usually sell the yogurt in like four a pack of four so a pack of four is about 65 uh, 56 baht it's like 28 million dollars i so, feel dairy is is cheaper here yeah the dairy products are definitely cheaper over here than, than back home yeah and we got more cows <laughs> yeah so here we have a packet of we think it's salt but, but we're not sure yeah. Because nowhere on the packet it says anything. Well, it says, but it's all in Thai. Yes. So we got this great translator app that we normally use. So let's see. If the... Oh. Okay. And as you can see, the translator app is not so accurate as well. Yes. So these are one of the struggles of living in Thailand and not speaking or reading Thai. Yes. Okay, so I think uh, we need to get some salt, so we'll rather get it from the spices section okay. so that we're sure that we do get the right product. Okay guys, so we found, I think we found salt. Marshall, can you check if it's salt? Yeah, we're in the spices section now again. Uh, so we got these red packets. Uh, I don't these know don't really about indicate. Them. They also are only written in Thai. And then we got the blue packets up here. What do they and say? Iodized table salt. Yay! We Yay. found some salt. Found some salt, guys. Okay. okay, so let's show you around the spices section. All right, guys. Um, so, when it comes to spices, they've got a really huge variety of spices, but not like we are used to. 
Um, they don't have like the barbecue and meat tenderizer type of spice. So they've mostly got herbs, many different types of herbs. And yeah, then they also have like salt, pepper, obviously, black pepper, white pepper. Uh, they've got some paprika. Here we got, like I said, herbs, uh, Italian mixed herbs, rosemary, uh, bay leaf, oregano. Uh, and the prices for spices and herbs also range from about 31 baht up to 90 baht, all depending on what brand you buy and what specific spice or herb you are looking for so yeah that's more or less the price range for the herbs and spices okay guys so here they got noodles a huge variety of noodles um, like the instant noodles we got back home also many different brands many different flavors um, let's see what the red one is the red one yeah. looks nice let's see what flavor this is Hmm. Let me see if I can figure out. I can't really seem to find the flavor of, of this rudin, but it looks like shrimp or something mm. that's in here. Let me see. Um, hot and spicy. That's all that I can see. Hot and spicy. Yeah. So it's all this look like seafood, but okay. up here we got a very interesting flavor, salted egg. Now wow, why, wow. the reason why I say this is interesting because they got the flavors like in little packets inside the, the container. And with this salted egg or egg flavored noodles, instant noodles, they actually have like a dried raw egg inside a little packet. Okay. Now, if you're a fan Have of, you tried it before? I've tried it, yeah, and I'm not a big fan of it. But okay. if you're a fan of like raw or dried out egg, then definitely try this. But it, the, the raw egg, I don't know if, if it's because they dry it out, but somehow the egg yolk, uh, the taste of it is intensified. And I'm not uh, a fan of that intensified egg taste. Okay. Okay guys, so here we got some cereal, uh, Nesto Milo, we got some Coco Crunch, Kellogg's, Fruit Loops, even got some cornflakes, and wow look they got banana cornflakes. What? Yeah, banana cornflakes, so you should try this sometime. Do they have <laughs> like dried banana like in it or? I don't know, probably, hmm. you should really try this sometime. Said, how much is it? This is like 79 box. baht, 80 or, baht, that's about... But like, it's a, like a really small box, quickly hold the box like next to my hand. It actually says with real banana. Oh, so it's I, really small. I bet they've got like real banana pieces inside. And the, the size, let me check the size for you. Can't really seem to find... Oh, it's 180 gram. Okay, for 79 baht. Yeah. 
That's actually a good price it's for It's a good it. price. And they've even got strawberry cornflakes. Look there. I don't think that's really yalfi though. Yeah, but it was so nice to try it out. It will. And they got honey crunch flavor cornflakes. They've got everything. I remember what, when we just got here, it was still in our... In the first few months, Melandri actually asked us about the different uh, funky flavors. So this uh, there is diluted drink. Um, it's actually our personal favorite. Fa favorite. We like this a lot. Uh, this actually make us think of Oros back yes. home. Uh, they actually call it a blue lemon. The blue yes. lemon. You'll see pieces kind of, of a, lemon on yeah. the bottle as well and the drink itself is kind of like blue it's got a blue yes. color to it so i think that's why it reminds us of auras because of the lemon the lemon taste yes. yes the strawberry is also really nice that's another favorite and then they have that brand that brand is a bit cheaper but not as nice yes definitely not that's like the wild island. So the Big C brand is actually the cheapest brand. So it's 121 for eight pieces of toilet paper. That one is a surprise. 52. And then we have the more expensive brand. Oh, they actually have a promotion. So it's 
All right, guys, so here we got some soap. This is my favorite brand, this green one. The parrot, I like the parrot brand, but I like the green, the botanical scent. And for a pack of four bars of soap, it's actually 50 bars, what? which I think is a very good price. It is. Considering the fact that you're buying four bars and not only one bar. Yes. And then they have the Lux that we know. And Lux also comes like in packs of four bars for like 45 bars for the small bars and the bigger bar bars is about 59 bars. And then they got some Protex as well in the same price range as the Lux. Again, also pack of four bars. And they also have the Deto soap, also like 59 baht for a pack of four bars. Here we have some hair dye. We have the L'Oreal brand as well, or oh, they have the L'Oreal brand as well that we know. The L'Oreal brand is about like. 500 baht for a box. It's two for 500. Two for 500. Yes. Wow. Oh, that's what I think. Yeah, we never, you can't be too sure because you don't really yes. understand. So I just see a two in front of the 499, and that usually means that it's two for the price of one, but we don't really understand, so yeah. Okay, then they have this. This box looks really cool. What do you think? Yeah, it does. And they have just. The names are really cool. Natural black, I like this one. Dark, Dark chocolate. chocolate, milky beige. Marshmallow brown. brown. Milk tea brown. Cool ash. Mint ash. Dark navy. Soft brown. Hmm. I think I should dye my hair, Marshall. What do you think? That's a good idea, Rudy. Maybe the audience can can suggest a color for you to dye. Yes, your and hair. then you can join me. And we can both dye our <laughs> hair. So okay. maybe you guys can suggest what color? One of these cool color colors, maybe dark navy, soft brown, or multi beige. Or multi brown for Marshall. No. You can suggest which color and then we'll consider dyeing our hair for you. Alright guys, so this is the medicine shelf. So medicine is really cheap in Thailand. Yes. And they've really got something for every complaint or any illness here so from nausea to fever you've got a light cough or muscle pain anything you can really just pop in at the grocery store and pick up something but yeah unless you really do have to, have to go see a doctor you can really just pick up some medicine from the from the grocery store the only problem that we have with it is you You'll see it's like only in Thai. Some of the things are only in Thai. Yeah. Or the description is in Thai. See, so that's the only problem. It's very difficult sometimes to figure out what you are buying. Or yes. to know which medication is for which human. But the prices are really good. Yes. Also much cheaper than the pharmacies. If you have to it go is. buy medication from the pharmacies, I think it can really get really expensive. Definitely.